Hello! Welcome back to another episode of Modded Kerbal Space Program, where I swear this isn't our second attempt at starting this recording. Um, Why do you give it away? We are a professional <laughs> Let's Play service or something. Entity. What, uh, what fantasy world are you living in? I don't know. <laughs> Did you forget to take your meds again? <laughs> Shit. I'll be right back. Bobby is launching the engine section of our Duna ship. I am filling a probe. Not a probe. I'm filling containers with... Um, uh, struts. Mm -hmm. I think. Yeah, so I yeah that's, that's what I'm doing. Because I have put the wrong struts in this can, in this ship, apparently. So I have uh, set the um, I set the, the 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 other half of the space station as target, and I really need to work on like getting my spacecraft centered on the on the launch pad. Like it's 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 offset, and it drives me nuts every time I see it. <laughs> but all right, so we set it as target. Our throttle is full, and we're going to launch. And as we approach a thrust-to-weight ratio of 1.8, I'm just going to tap my button down to keep us floating. Oh, around 7 here. I am uh, just placing these. Um, EVA strut things in here <laughs> filling many containers and hopefully Bobby will be at least relatively close to being docked by the time I uh, am ready to launch we're going to be a docking machine hopefully but uh, don't take this the wrong way I don't have a lot of faith it's been a long time since you've docked <laughs> I will have Oh, in Kerbal. Never mind. I don't want to know about what you do in your off hours. <laughs> but, um, all right, yeah, so I mean, it, uh, yeah. <laughs> good luck. Thank you. <laughs> That's all I got to say. All right. We're sitting pretty good here right now. We are above. We're just breaking 20,000 meters, and I'm going to start... Turning to zero nine zero ever so slowly. Check my apoapsis. We're at a fifty thousand meter apoapsis. I'm gonna go I'm gonna shoot for an inclination of thirty degrees and then throttle the hell up. And <laughs> Okay. And then we're going to stop the rocket at 93 in this case. Because I want to be below this, the craft, and it looks like I'm like going to match its orbit. Save. But actually, it, 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 it looks like... Wow! What? I, it looks like I'm almost... My separation, assuming I don't touch anything... Mm -hmm. uh will be uh well no never mind 834 kilometers which is not awful no it's not all right so then all right i am going to oh before i forget um launch we oh there they are did i actually and hopefully this will work <laughs> what's up before I forget, got to extend my solar panels. Yeah, that's probably... I thought I put them on an action group. Useful. But... Um, all right, so... Untitled... Sp I thought I recovered that. I guess I didn't. I'm going to set that as the target. And I am going to travel a little bit ahead in time here uh, 
All right. Now we're going to launch. And I actually may have gone a little bit too far ahead in time, but we'll see. Throttle up to max. We have liftoff. I love the sound that the this engine model makes. Mm. What engine a model are you using? Real good sound. The same one you used. Okay. It's just a real satisfying sound effect. All right, let's get ourselves in orbit. Even though I'm expanding my apoapsis here and I really don't want to. And we'll just lose a stage here while we're trying to expand said periapsis. And we are... Oh, wait, that's a different spacecraft. Where is... Oh, it's still behind us. So that's that's good, the fact that I'm kind of going to have a higher apoapsis here at the end. Because we actually want it to catch up. Ideally, yes. Ideally. Do you know what its altitude is? Off the top of my head... I think it's like 100... Now, I'm going to increase my angle of attack here because 96. I've, I've passed my I've passed my apoapsis already, unfortunately. So I'm going to increase my angle of attack here cuz I got hopefully plenty of fuel on this stage. As our periapsis is at 200,000 meters or negative 200,000 meters. It's not terrible. No. Rising, and my 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 apoapsis is actually going down, which is again good. Wow, I am I'm probably like a half a degree off, maybe. All right. Well, I'm bringing my apoapsis up. We are we are approaching here. And actually, I've, I've surpassed my apoapsis again. My timed apoapsis is positive again. And... Come on, let's... Get ourselves a little bit more. I think I've actually missed. But... I think it's actually fine, because... I will, um... Just set this back into orbit mode here, um, because ideally I want you to actually get there first, anyways. And <laughs> if I hadn't missed, I might have beaten you there. Hmm. Urban. So the altitude of the space station right now is about ninety-seven thousand meters. Yeah, roughly. I am above it in altitude. Yeah, there it goes, passing me. <laughs> I'm actually speeding up time a little bit so I can get closer to my apoapsis. All right, I am about 40 seconds out of our apoapsis here. Oh, geez, I just lost control. Mm -hmm. Of the ship. Ugh. Hold. Prograde. I mean, don't don't actually hold prograde. Just get me stable. Twenty seconds out of our apoapsis, we gotta get this thing in orbit. No. Oh, God. Very, very little control here. Turn that gimbal down. There we go. All right, let's uh, stage. All right, so let's fire just... up that next engine. That's a 
pretty darn good circular orbit here. Um, uh, so I forget. Can you do? Oh yeah. So, uh, well, let's see here. Where is my ascending node? I'm only at one point two degrees off right now. So yeah, that's not bad. Uh, I'm going to. Let's see. Our apoapsis is in forty seconds. We're gonna be higher and slower than the target, but we can actually fix that. Um, we can fix that pretty easily here. All right. In fact, let's watch the map. Pull this up. Um, when we get closer here all right let's uh fire up our engines we are four seconds out a really all right we're pointing ourselves anti-normal getting ready for our maneuver node which we will pass in like six minutes or so come on all right there we go i am just i have my periapsis just out of the atmosphere um, and I will have a closest intersection of 10 kilometers, which I can actually adjust once we're around on the other side to said periapsis. Um, let's uh, drop the fairing. There's a, lot of, there's a lot of stuff in space right now. And we're going to extend our solar panels. Yeah, we got a couple things in space. The one needs deleted because I had deleted it before, but it came back. I don't know. Mm. I don't know why uh, my test launch of this ship came back. But it's fine. Um, so, I'm still a little bit ahead of you. Mm -hmm. Not much. It's only 37 seconds. Yep. We are, uh... You are just ahead of me. No, no, that's the sh station that's just ahead of me. You're, like, half the planet ahead of yeah. me. Yeah. Well, gonna... maybe, like, a third. I'm gonna start time warping here to my node. I am... also thinking about doing some time acceleration. Um... Probably just around to... my, uh... Actually, let's let's actually come over here to the periapsis and see what we can do here to bring this a little bit closer. Actually, that really does make a difference. Gotta be careful not to get All right, too ascending. overboard. All right, ascending note is zero. Um, we have only one intersect point, which is, I think, a good thing, maybe, or hold on. So, our separation is right now, actually, I think we're going to do here, it is catching up to me at, um, actually, it's catching up to me at, uh, about two kilometers a second, two, almost two and a half kilometers a second, so... I'm just going to time warp uh, a couple of orbits around the planet here. Let's see here. I am, um, let's see, I should have a fairly close maneuver here, actually. So let's hold our maneuver node. And it's a tiny, tiny amount of delta V.
There we go. <laughs> I actually, uh, actually, I hit it dead on the mark. Holy cow! That was amazing. I only needed four point like two meters per second of delta V burn. Literally just tapped the the thing. Um, I'm actually, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go for it. Go for it. You're actually kind of close. Yeah, because if I can get Doc to it, um. Yeah, I'm playing the safe given my uh, history of of uh, right. Yes. Well, I just figure we can't both be docked to it at the same time, and as long as we're not trying to dock at the same time, it should be fine. Mm-hmm. But I think I can get there. Yep. Um, before you. It's Next. Gonna, let's see. Here. Yeah, I think I can get there. Should be. It should be all right. Um. So what we're going to do is I'm going to add a maneuver to, like, here. Roughly roughly here. And then, oh, jeez. And then I'm going to warp to said maneuver. We're actually relatively close to the target now, I think. All right, actually, I'm going to manually time accelerate here. Right there. Stop. We need retrograde to our target. Okay, where is said target? My relative. There it is. My relative All right. velocity to it is falling. That seems odd. Yeah, because we're both at... I haven't changed my orbit level, so the relative velocity should be the same. Right? Well, um, no, it's getting closer, if... so the relative velocity is... Well... Assuming your orbit's not perfectly circle. Yeah, that's true. That's the difference there. All right, we need to kill our relative velocity right now. Zero that out. Oh, we're getting closer, so my relative velocity is Target. is going down because we keep going slower. Which is right. Which is good, yes. Obviously, because I'm getting yeah. closer to it. Okay, now we burn towards the target. We got a lot of fuel. This is much better than the last one where I was doing this all at the end here with RCS fuel, which takes forever. All right, so where's our intersect at now? 0.1 kilometers. Damn. Right. I couldn't have asked for a closer just by guessing. <laughs> mm-hmm. All right. We are under. We're actually under 550 kilometers in closing. Um, I should have plenty of life support in here, right? Yeah, I have plenty of life support. Especially for not having put any on the actual ship itself, just using what's in the thing. Uh, I kind of sped past that a little bit. Overshot. That's fine. We'll be close enough at this point that I should be able to do the rest here with RCS. God, my system just updated. Like, you just kind of, like, I just saw you inch closer. Yeah. All right, let's grab our RCS here, and um, we want to kill the rest of our relative velocity here with RCS. I'm going to um, F5. Um, actually, I'm going to use the RCS fuel here and burn towards the target a little bit. I'm not sure where your docking ports, your docking port juniors are on it. The Hopefully. docking port juniors are on the side. 
Okay, hopefully this won't be in the way of attaching your ship. It shouldn't be. To be honest, since this is just a probe, this is probably somewhat similar as to how NASA would do it. Just get it up there and let it slowly catch up. Probably. Um... Okay, we're drawing closer here. I've actually, I mean, I've actually have a Kerbal on mine, but... Um... Mm -hmm doesn't actually matter that much what's really going to matter here is that um this thing is a little bit unwieldy mm -hmm. because i was figuring i wasn't going to have any of this fuel left by the time i actually got here so i've got my rcs uh thrusters aren't balanced i got you I am under 500 kilometers to it. That's uh, that's good. I am 70 meters. All right, nice. And, and closing. Um, hopefully, I can get docked here before you get here. Well, I guess part of rendezvous is patience. Like all of Rendezvous is yes. patience. D -d -d. Orbiting around. Okay, so yeah, I think this should hopefully... So what it's like to be on the International Space Station, just continuously orbiting around Not the be in your way, and hopefully I don't take out any of these solar panels. Please don't. <laughs> Yeah, well, I mean, not that we probably couldn't, you know, fix, fix it. Yeah, I have to send up an engineer bef just before. All right, three hundred and uh, what do we got here? Three hundred and seventy kilometers in closing. Oh, wow, our intersect points are getting closer and closer. That's good. I mean, you're only 300 kilometers out. Uh, I'm one day into the mission, though. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well. It's not that big of a deal, honestly. Yeah, no, it's really not. All right. Don't, don't hit, don't hit it, please. Please don't hit it. Next orbit will be under 300, th or 300 kilometers. Here's the MUN and our MUN probe orbiting in the, in the background. Okay, I am approaching... This docking port. And I'm docked. Excellent. And we are under 300. Okay, right. I am, while I'm docked here, I'm going to retract all but one of these panels. Okay. Just for safety purposes. Nothing wrong with safety. We love safety here at at New Eden Films or any L Films. Yeah. Um, all right, so this guy's docked. I am going to return to the Space Center. And you can dock in the next episode, hopefully. Mm -hmm. uh, if you liked the video, click like and subscribe. And we'll see you next time for some more modded Kerbal Space Program. Thanks for watching. Bye.